get when you take a Sesame Street character and a Family Guy character and put them together. <laughs> you get the 20, you get the 22nd and 24th president of the United States, Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland was not was the only president this country has ever trusted enough to vote him into office two times, not consecutively. This also is interesting because he ran three times for president and consecutively ran three times. He won the, the popular vote every time, but the time in the middle, he did not win the electoral college votes. In eight, he was born in 1837. He was one of nine children in the state of New Jersey. Before serving as president, he was a lawyer and then he also served as the mayor of Buffalo. The city trusted him and the state trusted him so much that he was then later elected as the governor of the, the entire state of New York. In 1884, Grover Cleveland decided to run for the president of the United States of America. After being elected as representative for the Republican Party, Grover Cleveland went on to win the election and become the nation's 22nd president of the United States. As a representative of the state of New York, Grover Cleveland narrowly defeated his opponent, James G. Blaine, by only 37 electoral votes. Four years later, Grover Cleveland ran for re-election. Or actually, two years after that, in June 1886, he married a 21-year-old named Francis Folsom. He was the first president to be elected into office and single. Two years later, he ran for re-election against a worthy opponent by the name of Benjamin Harrison. He won the popular vote by over 100,000 votes, which is quite a big margin. But however, he did not win the electoral votes. Despite his previous defeat, Grover Cleveland would later run for office a third time and against, and secondly against the incumbent president, Benjamin Harrison, something that had never been done before. And with recent history, will probably never be done before since the last time we've had a president not get reelected in a second term was George H.W. Bush. The past three presidents after that have all been two-term presidents. Um, in his second political battle between Grover Cleveland and Benjamin Harris, the electoral vote and the popular ended with the same result and Cleveland returned to the White House. The fact that Cleveland defeated Harrison the second time around by a large margin of 132 electoral votes proves that the first presidential election between these two candidates was flawed by the fact that the popular vote and the electoral vote did not agree. Grover Cleveland is the only non-incumbent politician in history to be re to be reelected as president of the United States, being that the incumbent politician is the politician who is currently in office as the president of the United States. The importance of the incident with Grover Cleveland clearly shows the importance of voting for president of the United States of America. With Grover Cleveland winning the popular vote for three consecutive elections, but only winning the electoral vote twice and those being non consecutively shows the process of the Electoral College is flawed in its process. However, because of this incident in, a mess in American history, I must implore the importance of doing our civic duty in voting on Election Day. Mo most people think, oh, one vote's not gonna change the presidential election. That, while that may be true, it may change, one vote may be the difference sometime between your county, which ended up going to them winning the state, which in a big city like Texas, in a big state like Texas, a lot or Texas or California, where they have a lot of electoral votes, that could very well be the deciding factor. So just remember, look back on what happened with Grover Cleveland next election day, and remember to get out there and vote because it's it's important.
In conclusion, Cleveland or Grove Cleveland was also the first United States president to be featured on the $20 bill. It was later changed to Andrew Jackson, yet no one really knows the real reason why they switched to Andrew Jackson. I did not know this before doing this speech, but I thought that was a pretty cool fact. I just Googled, searched Grover Cleveland and found the, this picture of the $20 bill, and I thought, I wonder if that's real, and I found out it was. And I think they should go back to that because people always ask people, who was your favorite president? I always answer Grover Cleveland because just he's the only person ever winning to win twice but not consecutively. And that's a – when you can stop and think about the time, that's an actually a pretty good sort of hard thing to do because you don't have the, the speeches on television back then in the 1800s. It was all just the people there, so for the country to trust him enough to do that is quite impressive. So in conclusion, Grover Cleveland rocks.